It's time. You did it. It's beautiful. See. Si. Now let's hope your idea works. Because we're nearly out of time. Listen close, Ezio. You're going to want to fly from fire to fire. The heat of each one you pass over should lift you back up in the air again. Bene. Careful, though. There's archers out on the roofs tonight. Avoid those arrows, or it will be a short trip. I wish there was some way I could use my sword while flying these things. <laughs> well, you do have your feet free. If you get close enough without taking an arrow in the head, maybe you could kick them off the building. Nice. It's now or never, amico mio. Let's have fun! Yes, it's the old hot air balloon mechanism. Using fire to lift yourself up in flight. Oh, and when he says avoid those arrows, avoid those arrows, because as stupid as these guards might be, they still know how to shoot. I might as well show you what that looks like. Anyway, follow the path I take and you should be able to get across this course with ease. Because, uh... I'm pretty sure the first time anyone played this through, uh, I'm pretty sure there were many, many deaths. Many, many deaths. Because that was how it worked for me when I first played this. Well, it was probably because uh, I had the controls set to uh, where it wasn't in... the sticking wasn't inverted when uh, you fly, because after a childhood of playing Diddy Kong Racing in Mario 64, uh, you get pretty used to going, pushing down to go up. Yeah, I got hit. Watch out for the guys that are behind us! How am I supposed to look out for guys that are behind us? <laughs> just kids with firecrackers. Come, it's your move. Alright, infiltrate the palazzo without being detected. And when it says without being detected, detected, it means it. But it's hard to stealth assassinate archers because they turn around when you come up behind them all the time. So, you have to air assassinate them. Just get a little closer. Hey, you shouldn't be alive! Hey, you shouldn't be alive. I think I used that joke many times. In fact, I think it was... I think the first time I ever heard that being said was from Era 5. It's, uh... It's really something I should think about. <laughs> hey, you shouldn't be up here. You shouldn't be alive. Oh, and by the way, jumping off the ledge here, not a good idea. I haven't actually fallen off on the outside during a mission, but I'm pretty sure that you get desynchronized for falling off the Palazzo Ducale. And the scaffolding to getting over here is uh, pretty clear. Stop! Signore, don't drink that! You are too late. The Doge is dead. What? Carlo? Apologies, Signore. But you should have listened to me when you had the chance. Seems you have failed, assassin. Forgive me, Signore. I tried. Why? What was it all for? <laughs> Assassino! Assassino! He's killed the Doge! The Doge is dead! I see... Knocking over the chest piece after you killed somebody? That's so cliché. Actually, I don't see that often. It takes one assassin to kill another, it seems. We kill thinking it's best for us. 
Do we not, Messer Ezio? I do this not for myself. Compio questo sacrificio per il bene superiore. Requiescat in pace. You... You killed me? You killed me? Ah, stupid wheel of morality. You s you made me look like I failed completely. You screwed up my es my escape with getting hit. Huh, pretty familiar, don't you think? Yep. Anonymous now. That completes the eighth sequence. Brush. Welcome to the next sequence. Oh, we got more money in the villa chest. Well, this is where I'm going to stop for now. I will see you guys next time.